Hello, folks. Excuse me if I sound a little lethargic today. I've been fasting for seven consecutive days in the hopes it will curry favor with the ancient spirit on this website that determines if my videos get shown to you. Anyway, let's talk about combat again. As some of you may have picked up, I was a big fan of the first Diablo games. Something about the way their animations popped made the game really satisfying, and it was enough to get past how simple the combat was for a while. You just clicked on things, really, which is fine, but if you ask me, after a while it's not really that fun. I prefer a little more skill to be involved, personally. The last time we looked at combat, I added a little hit animation that stuns a mob when they take damage. After playing around with the game since, I noticed the game became a lot harder from that little addition alone. Surrounded by enemies, it's much harder to escape since you're being hit and stunned so often. It makes a lot more sense to the gameplay I was imagining. You probably shouldn't be able to just shrug off attacks unless you're wearing heavy armor or your attacker is very small. So, in order to escape this newly created stun lock threat, we ought to be able to block. Imagine that, introducing a second button into combat. That should elevate our skill ceiling, am I right, folks? Here's why I thought adding this would be a nightmare. I use characters rendered into sprite sheets. That means if I want the player to be able to block, I could either create a single blocking animation, which would mean characters can't move and block at the same time, or I create alternate versions of every animation a character can block in, changing the position of their arm for the animation and creating a ton more assets where things have barely changed in the process. But then I realized something. My obsession with dismemberment that allowed for arms and legs to be removed without a mob dying, which was part of the foundational technology for my game, means every single limb is animated separately. That way, quadruple amputees still get proper representation in my game, since we're all about inclusion here. Therefore, we only have to override the animations of the left arm and maybe the torso since its position changes a bit when the arm moves as well. And voila, a change in hand position without 60 more sprite sheets. Sure is nice when my psychopathy pays dividends like that. Here there's a bit of tearing at the seam, but that's just because the torso doesn't have those override animations yet. Now, in the future, we'll have blocking with no shield equipped override the right arm instead so mobs can block with their weapon. But for now, we're doing this just to get the tech in place. The next issue is we'll want something to block with. I created this sweet little baby buckler. Now, uh, <laughs> I was a bit worried since I've never added something that belongs to the left arm, so I was fully expecting it to create a bunch of visual glitches I'd have to work out since I've not done anything specific to support sprites in the left arm since I wrote the initial equipment system a year ago. But apparently, I did it right the first time and everything just sort of worked. Cool, right? Props to me for that. Now let's just try the blocking with this thing in our hands and... Alright, it doesn't, it doesn't all work. I did dig this magic dap thing going on though. Sup bro? Dap me up. What's good homie? Pretty cool. We'll just fix that up quickly and here we are. By the good grace of the lord we have animated shield blocking. Now having this new system in place is kind of a big deal. It can be extended to have animations for aiming a bow or lining up a throw while moving around can also be used as a solution to fix this issue where the run animation for weapons was rendered with the weapon in hand, causing it to teleport suddenly when running without the weapon drawn. Alternate states for animations based on context. Pretty excited it worked out so nicely because I was dreading figuring this out initially. It's quite the happy little miracle. Now, in the interest of getting this done fast enough to put a video out, all I've done is have blocking prevent the hit animation from playing. Essentially, it's not a proper block that factors in direction, damage, and stamina like it will in a couple of days from now when I finish it up. But I did spend a lot of the Easter weekend making some developer tools that will allow me to iterate on this stuff a lot faster, which took longer than I expected, but was worth the effort. I can avoid having to manually select sprite sheets for every animation every time I add an item now, which saves me a ton of clicking around that made adding new animations and items a huge chore in the past. If you're a solo developer, I would recommend always putting the work into automate as much as possible. It's 
it's well worth it when you have limited development time. Anyways, that's all for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, as if that was something you were forgetting to and not just something you weren't going to do. Peace out, everybody.